Council, my name is Solomon Mugera. I'm the editor BBC Africa. This is a hub that broadcasts to more than 90 million listeners across Sub-Saharan Africa in six languages. Africa is not one country and that is what some people tend to refer to whenever there's a problem in Africa, whenever there's a news event in Africa, it could be in any of the African countries. And people will gladly say it's in Africa. We had the recent outbreak of Ebola. It was affecting four countries in Africa, Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Liberia. Those were the first three. And then of course it, went, it, it spread to Nigeria. But the trouble was whenever you watch television, and people referred to those three countries or four as if it's the entire continent that was facing Ebola outbreak. It was wrong. 54 countries, and some of them quite different from each other. I know if you've been watching coverage of events from Africa, they've been dominated by the four Ds. Number one is death, there's destruction, there's disease, and you got disaster. But there's the other D, which the international media rarely focuses on, but we are determined to cover, and that is development. Africa is developing pretty fast. From Kenya in East Africa, to Nigeria, to Ghana, to even Sierra Leone and Liberia, which have been battered by Ebola, down to Central African Republic where we've had a conflict, go into Namibia from where you rarely hear anything happening in Namibia, down to the big one, South Africa, there is development that is going on, economic development. You've got a young, educated and dynamic population. And in fact, the fastest or growing population amongst young people, you find it in Africa. When something happens on a global scale, be it the financial downturn that we saw a couple of years ago, that would hit the level of direct investment and businesses going into Africa. When you've got so much attention on Africa as a continent that is rich in minerals, and you see how countries such as China, America, Britain, Germany, France, all trooping towards Africa, people around the world would be wanting to know what is it about Africa? So that is one role we provide as BBC Africa. We connect Africa to the world and the world to Africa. Global Minds, it's time for me to ask you some really tough questions. Hope you're ready. I really want to know what would really excite you in terms of our coverage of Africa. And once you've told me that, how would you want us to deliver that content to you? Great. Thank you very much and I look forward to your responses. Mm -hmm.